Okay, back again to uh, finger locks. We're going to be doing finger lock and we're going to talk about the same side, finger lock. For example, if the guy's going to point with his right, when I capture the, his fingers with my left, that's the same side. If the guy point with his left and I capture the fingers with my right, that's the same side we're talking about. Okay, so we're going to do this. It's going to be a little bit slow. And again, it's slow because, you know, for instructional purposes. So I'm going to be in good tactical position. You need to think about whatever scenario you think about. If you are police, corrections, whatever security, whatever you do, whatever position you think that is the bad guy in front of you is going to point a finger, then this is what you need to do. So I'm here, I'm going to capture the finger, change the focus. You got to change their focus immediately because if you don't change the focus, nothing's going to work. None of the stuff we teach is going to work and the other hand is going to come back and hit you immediately. Okay? So we're going to do this again here. Again, I'm going to capture fingers. I'm going to hit immediately, change their focus. I'm going to take them to Z-lock. Z-lock, then I'm going to transition again up. I'm going to bring them to inverted U and my hand is up and ready here because I can do whatever I need to do. And back to the fingers, back to the fingers. And we're going to take him down with finger lock, figure four. So I'm going to transition down, he's down, stand tight, stand tight with fingers. Now all the way down your stomach, get down your stomach, get down your stomach. Stay down now to your cuffing position. Continue controlling those fingers. Check the back for weapons. I'm going to check the back for weapons. I'm going to tell the bad guy, put your hand behind your back. Cross your feet. And now I'm ready to apply my cuffs. Cuff this hand, grab fingers again and cuff the other hand. Ah! <laughs>